I'm Jaren. Today we are going to conduct an experiment about spinal reflex and human reaction. So, what does reflex mean? Reflexes are triggered by a stimulus and result in a predictable response. Reflexes are fast and involuntary, which means we are not aware and not in control. So there are five components, which are receptor, sensory neuron, interneuron, motor neuron, and the last is effector. So there are two types of reflex, which are cerebral reflex and spinal reflex. Cerebral reflex are the reflexes in which brain is involved and thinking process occurs. For example, slow reflex and also pupil reflex. Spinal reflex is a sensory motor nerve pathway which is completely independent of the brain. For example, are patella reflex and arteries reflex. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I'm going to conduct an experiment about swallowing reflex. Okay, so for now let's look at the procedure first. Okay, as we can see, uh, for the first step, uh, I need to sw swallow my saliva and immediately swallow again. Okay. The second swallow is harder than the first swallow. <coughs> okay, for the second step, I need to drink a glass of water and repeat step one. You can see, um, there is no difficulty in swallowing the saliva immediately after drinking water. For the first question, um, this is because the saliva will act as a stimuli in the mouth cavity. Swallowing is not a complete voluntary action. It involves voluntary and involuntary component. For the next question, okay, when drinking water, we will feel easier to swallow the saliva because the water acts as a stimuli to replace saliva in our mouth cavity to stimulate the muscle of the also fingers to swallow. Assalamualaikum and hi to Dr. Marina. I am Nur Azam with Arizona and my matrix number is AS11572. I am Nadina Nabilah with Rosal. My matrix number is AS1218. So now uh, we are going to continue conducting the experiments, which are the second and the third experiments. Uh, Dina is going to be the subject and I am going to be the experiment for both experiments. So let's go to the second experiment. I will explain about the second experiment. Uh, entitled Reaction Time to Site. The objective of the experiment is to identify and observe the muscle reaction time to site as respond to some sort of stimulus. The requirement needed for the example is two stopwatches. Drop the A. Firstly, a stopwatch is needed for both experimenter and subject and started it simultaneously in 3, 2, 1. Then the experimenter stop the stopwatch and follow up with the subject as soon as she see it. The time lapse between the experimenter and the subject's action, which will give the reaction in time of the subject, is measured and recorded in table 6.1. Lastly, the experiment is repeated 10 times and the average reaction time is calculated. This is the result for the second experiment, which shows the time lapse between the experimenter and the subject's action. The first question for experiment 2 is, is there any evidence that the subject improved this practice? The answer is yes, because the subject will be more focused and response faster than previous trials. So the last experiment is about Direction time to touch, which will require two stopwatches, a ruler, and a thread. The objective for this experiment is to identify and observe the muscle reaction time to touch as respond to some sort of stimulus. So let's go to the procedure. A stopwatch is needed for both experimenter and subject and started it simultaneously. The subject should close her eyes. Later, the experimenter pressed the stopwatch and simultaneously tried on the subject's foot. The subject then pressed her stopwatch to stop. The experiment is repeated 10 times and the average reaction time is calculated and recorded in the table 6.2. Using a thread, the length of the nerve pathway between the point where the stimulus is received and the part of the body which responds is measured. Last but not least, the length of the nerve pathway can be obtained by measuring the thread with a ruler. Proceed to the question for our last experiment. The first one is the subject reaction time longer in the experiment 3 reaction to touch compared to experiment 2 reaction to sight. If so, why? The answer is the subject's reaction time to touch is shorter compared to the reaction time to sight. This is because reaction from touch is monosymmetric wood, which means we can react before we are aware of our reaction. From sight is a polysymmetric wood, which takes time to react because the signal needs to be passed from eyes to brain to spinal cord and then out to muscle. 
The next question is, which of the reflexes that you have investigated are spinal reflexes and which are desirable? Let's bring your answer. The answer is, reaction time to sight is the cerebral reflexes that need brain in order to react as the eyes are organs that are directly connected to the brain. Meanwhile, reaction time to touch is the spinal reflexes that doesn't need brain involvement. For cerebral reflexes, our eyes will send visual information that has to be processed and the decisions regarding a correct course of action. Then the brain then needs to send signals to various muscles for reaction. For spinal reflexes, the touch mate will involve sensory neurons which will send information through the dorsal root ganglion into the spinal cord, where the signal splits into two different parts of muscle, put signal works together and all the process happen in the spinal cord without going to the brain. For the last question, what other reflexes are shown by human? What parts of the CNS, spinal or cerebral are involved in each case? After listing out all the reflexes, I had divided all of them into two types of reflexes which are cerebral and also spinal reflexes. For cerebral reflexes, I got pupillary light reflex, accommodation reflex, blink reflex and also vestibular ocular reflex. For the spinal reflexes, I got withdrawal reflex, cross extensor reflex, Golgi tendon reflex and also stretch reflex. That's all for question experiment 3. This is the result for the third experiment, which shows the time lapse between experimenter and subject's actions. Meanwhile, this is the analysis of reaction time where the length of math pathway is being recorded. Welcome to the discussion. So, in the first experiment, the swallowing reflex is being tested by the subject need to swallow saliva continuously in a short period. The result, it is difficult to swallow saliva because there's only a small amount of saliva produced after the saliva swallow. It is because there are various glands need to trigger in production of saliva. After that, the subject needs to drink a cup of water and the result is the production of saliva is faster than before. It is because the production of saliva is more effective than without drinking any water. In addition, swallowing or we call deglutition it is an act of passing food from the mouth by the way of pharynx or your throat and to the esophagus and the last to the stomach. Swallowing is basically an involuntary reflex. One cannot swallow unless there is saliva or some system to be swallowed. Initially, food is voluntarily moved to the end and at there, the reflex of swallow takes over and cannot be rejected. So for the second experiment, we are able to determine the reaction time to start. Firstly, both experimenter and subject need to start their stopwatch together. After a few seconds, the experimenter needs to stop the stopwatch. As long as the subject sees the action, he will need to stop it. The average reaction is this. This shows that the reaction takes time to send impulse to the brain before it sends back to the effector. For the third experiment, we are able to determine the reaction time to touch. Firstly, both experimenter and subject need to start their stopwatch simultaneously. After that, the experimenter need to touch the subject foot and stop the stopwatch. As long as the subject feel the touch, he will need to stop the stopwatch too. So this is the average time for subject to touch. The result obtained is lower than the reaction to sight. Generally, the reaction of touch is faster than the reaction of sight. This is because the reflexes don't need to travel up to the brain to be processed. The actual reflex start when the sensory impulses along a sensory neuron to the spinal cord when signals are passed to the motor neuron.